Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Iola, Wisconsin at the Iola Car Show. Come take a look in the description. You can see the website and see a great car show. And I'm with Bob One Row. And you've had this car how long? Bought it brand new, right off the showroom floor <laughs> in 1977. What make your, your make and model yeah. is this one? Yeah, okay, 1977 AMC Hornet AMX. Let's take a look. Now, I'm just curious, how many of these, come right alongside me, how many of these do you see since you bought it new? Uh, not too many of them. Yeah. That's why Iola always invites me to bring it. Probably got the, probably the only one left in the state. Not only the only one left in the state, maybe the only one left in the world. And uh, I just want to say, this is one of those cars that we kind of forgot about. The Stinger bullseye there. But come right alongside me as we take a look. It's got the spoiler and uh, the AMX package. And we'll see more about that because you have, of course, all the brochures. Now, the interesting thing about this car was, correct me if I'm wrong, but you saw this car and would go to the dealership. Tell, yeah. tell the story a little bit. Yeah, uh, it was in the dealership for over six months. Uh, this AMX package had a $1,500 extra uh, charge on it. Nobody wanted it. And uh, the local AMC dealership uh, showcased it in the showroom for six months, so I used to sit in it. I was going to uh, technical college, and I would stop every day after, well, once a week, and stop and then take a look at it, sit in it, and order, so, well, someday you're going to buy it. <laughs> about a month later, uh, after, well, after the, the sixth month, I got a, uh, got a job and uh, was able to go and purchase it. Come on, right along. Go ahead. So, uh, so you... this, it's, this was waiting for me. So this is interesting. It sat for six months. The 78s came out. It was still there. You got a job and said, oh, I got a job. The, the, the 78s came out and actually the, the dealer discounted at $1,500 because the, the 78s were coming out. So brought it back down to almost like a basic Hornet price. So I said, I'll buy it. I had some money saved already after a month of working and uh, was able to go ahead and buy it. The original and, uh, owner. Yeah, so original owner and uh, I never really intended to keep it all these years, but uh, once it hit 10 years, I kind of, color kind of grew on me and I said, I just can't get rid of it. Then uh, it started rusting out and I had Rusty Jones rust proofing and I went back every year for the updates and uh, Rusty Jones actually restored my car for me. They gave me all new fenders, rocker panels, doors. Wow. Restructured it. So uh, I remember that. Let's open so this up. Let's show them. Let's keep talking and show yeah. them this. Because so you've got some interesting down. pieces here. We'll show this for sure. So there in the new buyer's guide, you can see the car featured. And there is the 77 owner's manual. And if you look, this was the 77 AMC. There's more to AMC. And there describes the Hornet hatchback. And just for grins, I'll go through this brochure for you, which is the 77, there's more to an AMC. And these are all original brochures. I'm being very careful, as you can see. Two years, 24,000 miles. Dear AMC owner, started with the Pacer, the Pacer X, moved on to the Gremlin, the Gremlin X, and then the AMX with the Hornet, the standard hatchback. It's got a little different wheels. So are your wheels an upgrade? Uh, these these what came on it, the, 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 the standard model came with the, uh, the polyester, uh, it's like a plastic gaze on it, and, uh, and, and the, the aluminum ones were optional. Check out some of those interiors. So basically, the, the, the way the car looks today is how I bought off the showroom floor. I, I've kept it exactly original as, it, as I possibly can. There's it, it does have dealer add-on air. Yeah, these are the, the the tires I have on them right now, the, the rims, I uh, should say. The Just. And I do have dealer installed uh, AM air, which actually still works. Uh, it was dealer installed and they painted the car with that, the same color as the car. Or in the back, we've kind of put it together. Not only is that the window sticker that we're sharing with you, but this is actually a factory pop tent 
that comes with the car. As you can see, so the hatch comes open, you tie it in that way, and that's a factory option that you probably might never see. The pop tent from the back of the car. Close this, may I open it? Can I open the door? Sure, yep. Thanks. Sure, yeah, yeah. So as I open it, we've got that right there. We have our buckets, your full down back seat. Some people, I just want to show them this on the other side real quick that I showed. Some people are going, what's Rusty Jones? So what Rusty Jones would do is you would get it guaranteed rust proofed. That's what Rusty Jones looked like. And apparently they came they, through. They, they stand behind it where it They stand the behind it. And uh, let them check it out and they uh, did all the repairs. I'll make a note though, Rusty Jones did go bankrupt in the early 1990s, so they're no longer in business. Maybe I bankrupt them. <laughs> I, I don't think so. The turned dash, the rear window, what does that button do? Yeah, that's for the rear defrost on the back window. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, Wisconsin snowy winters, they get to melt the, the snow from the window louvers. And is, is it 114,000 miles? 114,000. Got it. I, uh, I drove it to 102,000 in 1987 when it got it restored and uh, put it away as a collector car then. So I put it on 12,000 miles since 1987. And the AMX. Wow. And it does have a very rare inside hood release also too. Most of the Hornets did not come with ones, but uh, for some reason I did have an inside hood release on mine when I got it. Let's uh, take a look under the hood, shall we? Mm -hmm. Let me take a look one more spot here before I, I don't want to miss that right there. Wow. There's a couple of different cars. There's cars that when I feature them, people go, wow. And there's cars that when I feature people go, what? I think this is a little combination of both. The 258, you remember the horsepower on that? Uh, actually, I'm not sure what the horsepower is on it. Okay. 115? 115. 115 Thanks, Rob. His son helped us out there. The Power Guard, American Motors. That's a room you can work on it, huh? But it'll yeah. have almost 100, yeah, it's, it needs to be touched up a little bit. Uh, I mean, in 1987, we kind of detailed it out, and, and that's the same year we got married, so that's 34, uh, let's say, say uh, 1987, 35 years ago. Wow. Well, let's, detail it out. let's fire it up, shall we? Okay. I'll tell you what, when we start it, too, the horn still works. Oh, we'll beep that horn. We'll let it idle. The straight six. Keep that horn for a second. Nice. Not much of a horn. Not much of a horn, does it? Doesn't make you get out of the way. Let me uh let me just listen to it. Idle, can you hit the brakes for a second? Nice. Single exhaust. Go ahead. <laughs> this is this was the 19, 1977 quiet power. 100% stock. Exactly, 100% stock. Bob, let's shut it off. Come on out. Yeah. When I when I bought it, I was 21 years old. And you're just a little over that yeah. now. And uh, <laughs> when I drive it, I still feel like I'm uh, I still feel like I'm 21. <laughs> Isn't that the best? That's what yep. the cars do is they make us young. Well, Bob, yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I've yeah. Been, we've been talking for a yep. while. I've been looking forward to sharing your car. And yep. thanks so much for uh, being on my car story. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. My pleasure.